So I was just about to go to bed when I saw that the Lethal Company modding community went a little crazy when I was editing my last video, which if you haven't watched already, please go check it out. I make it a habit to check the Thunderstir page every night before I go to bed, and this time I saw that the modding community has not only added six new moons in the past 24 hours, but also one new interior too. That's some crazy timing considering that I have to work insane hours at my day job for New Year's weekend, and as much as I'd love to get to all seven new pieces of content right here and right now at 3am, it's only temporally possible for me to get to one and even then I'm pushing it considering that I have to work in a few hours but that's just how dedicated I am to delivering on my videos and I wanted to start with the one that I think will be the most interesting for you all and that's the dungeon interior that's included with the new mod lethal extension by Scoopy. That said I will be getting to all the new modded moons over the course of the next week so if you want to stick around for those showcases please subscribe to the channel because despite my demanding hours as a chef I'm still going to make the time to keep you all up to date with the latest happenings in lethal company but that's all I got for the intro I think I've said enough to reach my 8 minute quota, so let's dive into the new dungeon interior brought to us by Scoopy. The new dungeon interior is the first piece of content added to the game through the new Lethal Extension mod. From what I can tell, it seems that the Lethal Extension mod is similar to the Lethal Expansion mod in that it is a tool that modders can use to add new content to the game. The description states that you can add interiors, scrap items, store items, enemies, and even new moons through this mod. This is some exciting news because as much as I love each and every new contribution added to the game via a new moon, I think we're all waiting to see who will add new interiors and when. So it's awesome to see that the first addition to the game Game with this mod is the new dungeon interior. As for the dungeon's features, the store says that the dungeon map generation has a high degree of verticality, which is something that hasn't been explored as much with the existing facility and mansion interiors. In fact, the map generation for the dungeons have been so vertical that it's a known issue for players to be teleported back to the main entrance if they travel too far up or down the map. There's also a whole list of known issues to think about when adding this interior to your gameplay rotation, but the mod does deserve some leniency considering that it just came out recently. And even more so that dev has already identified these issues and is actively working on them. Either way, Scoopy makes up for these issues by adding a guitar as a scrap item and making the interior so dark that it's recommended to actually bring a flashlight on these runs. But that's about all I can say about the map without actually going in there, so let's go take our first look at the new dungeon interior. Let's go get our pro flashlight. I'm gonna want this. But yeah, look at all these new planets right here. Miller's Planet, Nuketown, Evergreen Forest, JJBA, and Springfield. Wow, okay. Let's go. What is that building right there? What? Can you actually go to that building? I've never even looked this far this way. Okay, looks like there's like a bit of scaffolding that you can go on top of if you bring an extension ladder. Can you actually enter this building? There's a moon inside here? Hold on, okay. When the flashlight drops, we're gonna go over here real quick. I've n <laughs> never even thought about going up here. And then there's that. I've seen this one. I've seen this little water tower with the huge ladder on it. I've seen uh, Thelonious's video about update 45 fall damage, and she used that water tower to demonstrate it. Got the pro flashlight. I don't know why I don't just put on like non vanilla print values and stuff when I'm doing these showcase videos. It's not like it really matters all that much. Probably be better if I could have better sprint here, but. Let's go see what's inside here. Let's investigate. Okay, it's just very foggy inside this barn. Is there a ladder inside here or anything? Doesn't seem like it. If anyone ever wants to like port a new interior onto experimentation, there's some potential here. Okay, now let's actually go to the part of the map that we're supposed to showcase. I know that a lot of people, when they see that modded moons are added to the game, they get a little disappointed that there isn't a new interior, that they just see the facility and the mansion. I just want to say that while it would be cool to see a newer interior, there's so much work that goes into putting together these modded moons, and I'm just very thankful that people even put the time to do that at all i mean like look how big just one map can be that's so much work for one person or one team to do that it's cool that they, they do that and that there's a whole other subset of modders that are working on interiors so let's go check out this new dungeon interior oh okay <laughs> this is literally just shit go pick that up it's worth a zero and it's a two-handed item <laughs> that's funny kind of gives me like dark and darker type vibes looks like that's an armor set but that's just how the shadowing goes so let's go check it out wow okay this is real fun so i remember talking about how like lethal company has kind of set a new type of genre of game and like the whole extra extraction looter type thing and that it would be super cool if that there was a dungeon crawler version of the game but where you go into like dungeon like randomly de generated dungeons and then see how much loot you can bring out I mean, that's basically what Dark and Darker is, but Dark and Darker also has a more PvP element to it. 
But I think it would be kind of funny if there was if there was more of a co-op thing to it. And not not so much where you're fighting other people, but just kind of exploring with your friends. And then that would have like crazy like Dungeons and Dragons potential also. I like how these jail cells are interact interactable. It kind of reminds me of the jail cells that were in the Phasmophobia prison map a little bit. I saw in the, okay, ooh, these vents are kind of like high up compared to vents on vanilla maps. I did see in the patch notes for this mod that something that they wanted to prioritize for the map generation is the verticality. Like right there, I just went up and down a staircase and it was so vertical that there's actually a bug where people will get ported like to the main entrance if they go too low because that that's what happened that's how like the apparatus clip works like you go off the map fall and then you go and then it teleports you to the entrance with all your stuff really good stuff for speed running and also just general safety if you're willing to exploit the game like that i for sure am just because of how in infrequent and situational that is yeah it seems like the only item i found so far is that pile of shit i'm pretty sure there's gonna be more stuff i might just be a little bit unlucky i did pick experimentation which doesn't have that much loot spawn value so that's partly on my on my end this is the verticality i'm talking about the spiral staircase this is super cool i will most likely in keep this implemented into my playthroughs because this is just a, like a nice change of pace now for people who enjoy like for people who only want the vanilla maps but different interiors you can play with this and the scp interiors for people who will play with both vanilla maps and modded into and modded moons like the variety just goes up a whole whole lot oh this room oh okay a homemade flashbang just kind of like a regular item here i saw something about how they uh the dev added like weapons and armor pieces to the game at first i thought it was like for fighting but i think it's more just for loot items but if there was like a sword that's usable as like a shovel that would be cool too and maybe even the damage is modified a little bit since it's a bit more effective than a shovel i remember when i oh okay got like a little tavern room gingerbread man tattered metal sheet okay we got some holiday equipment here i remember when I was talking about, uh, or when I was thinking up about the Lethal Company medieval version slash dungeon version, what different items could work as like the base store items. And, and it looks like I got a locked door. A little unfortunate because that's probably where I have to go. But I think I can just go through the fire exit as long as I find my way out of here. But as I was saying, when I was thinking about the dungeon crawler version of Lethal Company, if they had like different weapons or different items that would be the equivalent of Lethal Company items. Like so a sword would be the shovel and a torch would be like a like the flashlight kind of thing. You know, stuff like that. Lots of potential there. I hope someone makes it. Maybe even just rip off Dark and Darker. I don't really care. <laughs> I did play Dark and Darker for a little bit, but... Oh, for, oh, wow. Okay, this place is so big that my flashlight died. Let's see what it's like running this dungeon without some light. I mean, I'm a veteran Lethal Company enjoyer, right? So I must must be able to navigate without one. Okay, I probably should have bought two flashlights. I, I don't think I've ever been on a map that required me to use two flashlights, but I'll keep that in mind for next time. I'm very lost, unfortunately. This is a new area. Got a large axle and a key. I do remember there being a locked door, so I will pick that up. Funny little interaction there. And then got another spiral staircase going down. Anything in these jail cells? At this point, it would be okay if a monster just came and killed me because I can't really see. Oh, okay, what's this? Oh, this is a fire exit. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like the blue lights indicating that this door is going to be a little different. It'll be funny seeing how a mimic interacts with that door. But yeah, okay, I guess I don't really need to go back in because I, I found the fire exit. 